Hey everyone from far across time, space and distance. I'm a psychic from Mission True Love channel. And right now I'm doing free personalized tarot readings, oracle readings, candle wax readings, ruins reading for you. So if you have any personal query to ask, you, you can either email me your query in the email ID which I provided in the description box or you can mention your query in the comment section box down below. Whenever I will be free, I'll do the reading for you. And I would love to guide you. So today's reading subject is urgent message from the universe. So for those who are new to this reading session, let me tell you how it works. There are two piles, pile one and pile two. See which pile resonates most with you. You can select more than both of these piles if you have been drawn towards most of the piles. The first one is Uranus with its rings. And the second one is Saturn with its rings. Once you have selected your pile, it would be mentioned in the form of timestamps and you can run through that timestamp and you can get directly towards your reading. So let's hop in your reading. So pile one, you have chosen Uranus. One day on Uranus is 17 hours and it has known 13 rings and it has 27 known moons. Wow. And it's the seventh planet in the solar system. Now let's see what's there in your reading. What urgent earth message is there for you? Okay. Universe, direct my readers so that I can help them and guide them. And what urgent message is there for them? Please, let me be the medium. Okay, the first one which I which popped out is Four of Pentacles. The Fool card is of Swords card. The Death card, King of Cups. Okay. Queen of Pentacles, Four of Cups. Seven of Swords. Temperance and the Awakening card, the Tower card. Okay, so the group one who has chosen Uranus. I see a fresh start in your life. Either some of you are going to enter into new venture, new business, and I see new things coming in your way. You are going to let go of all the past toxicity, the past unpleasantness which you have felt, and you are about to be ready for the change you are now no wonder going to be wondering about the negative expects in your life and you would be focusing more on the positive side i see a lot of love and a lot of patience in you the past in your life has made you more focused more calm more composed and now you are not going to cling towards the things and you have become quite mature to let the things go i see the positivity inside you i see the innocence inside you but with a very mature and jovial nature you have let go a lot of things in your life which you don't want to let them go but you have anyways you know have accepted the fact and the urgent message from the universe is that the new is coming in your way and it is filled with a lot of love and a lot of emotions, a lot of positive vibes. I have got this star card in the end and for some reason I most of the time I see it as a negative expect but this time it is becoming like this fell down is like so important for you. It was like it is just to make you a better version of yourself and you are flowing in the air you can enjoy what 
what others can't see you can you know see when you are in the air you can see the gravity works and the things work in the core level and you are actually enjoying you are falling down but you are enjoying the move and it's a long fall so you are not going to collapse very soon and there is something which you are going to catch when you are going to get down to the earth you are not going to get wounded so easily so it's it's very positive vibes which i'm getting in this card and for some reason i was getting such a positive vibes today anyways so i am expecting the things to be happening so good for you and you have become quite mature as a person and you know you, i see this fool card in your reading and it's like a fresh start a fresh beginning fool never means that you are idiot and you don't know the things work it is it, it actually signifies that you know the things are complicated but you anyway choose the innocence the fun part in your life and you know you are just how to take uh, more chances take new ventures and ad advance into new things and you're so happy and you know peaceful about it i could also see this see this ace of swords and i see the sharp words coming and you know by sharp words it's not necessary that they are rude it means that you are going to stand for yourself this time you know what you want to say and you are going to say that urgent message from the universe is signifying that you are going to become quite more mature now and you have chosen this path it's not that you are going to choose you have already chosen this path and now you're not going to let go others you know ruin you or you know take advantage of you now you know you can stand for yourself and you can say for yourself i see big changes coming your way you have the the recent sufferings have made you so positive and you know so mature and so detoxed from the surroundings that you can move on with so much positivity i see new growth i need see new see new business opportunities coming your way if you have started a new venture it will give you a very positive feedback i see money in adequate amount coming your way and i see that things are going to flood it your way with this four of cups i could see that you have everything people are offering you it's just that you have to look around and you have to see that there are people who this this the divine power offering you something the divinity the people itself are offering you something it's just you have to raise your head up and just see and appreciate the surroundings you can do that all the struggles and fights have been over and you have gone through all the rift and now you are going to start a new the temperance card and the, and uh, as the ninth card it's very positive because it always signifies balance equality it it symbolizes the yin and yang energies so even if you are a man or woman it really doesn't matter you have acquired the positive sense in yourself and you have acquired the positive right balance in yourself so now you can see the things through very clearly you have this path ahead and it's going to lead to the direct brightness in your life let me read few oracles for you okay oracles urgent message from the universe let me be the medium and tell my readers what they want to hear okay please okay you got the unicorns the, the king of your unicorns open your heart to love and joy yes you are you will and you have to i see a new door is opening for you but definitely you got this fool card and you got this and it's very real the oracles and tarots say something different they both say the same things again and again service with an open heart is a key to satisfaction so the cards are suggesting you to do some something good to others care for others do do a little good deeds with others you don't have to be you know overwhelming with work and burden just just a small smile to your neighbor a small you know a love to a small kid any random kid could solve the purpose so this is a service which you have to do with your open heart and it leads to the satisfaction of others as well as yourselves okay let me do another oracle reading for you you got 
this trust your talents in changing times times are changing okay noodles are, are, are opening for you be devoted and committed so things are coming your way you have to be you know a sage you have to be so smart all about it and unlock the magic within so you have to feel you have to realize the things the the true happiness lies always within so you have to be more calm and composed and what all you have wished for would be coming true very soon and you have to just unlock this magical wisdom from within I explore my wildness and dance in pleasure. My words and actions are of beauty, compassion and love. And gratefully I surrender my struggle. Yes, this is the time where you are going to, you know, be okay with what is happening in your life and you have accepted that yes, these are things which are were supposed to happen with me and now you are okay with it. You have started adjusting with the situation but that too in a positive attitude not with a negative attitude that's what the universe is asking you a very very strong positive change i could see in your life embrace your wildness again i explore my wildness and embrace your wildness so and dance with pleasure definitely you have to embrace yourself unlock your magic within something very good is happening speed cells uh, speed spells create your story it is the most potent form of magic a magic is going to happen with you very soon give to others treasure life and all its magic so definitely a very beautiful things are coming in your way magical things are happening in your way and you just have to appreciate it the moment you have realized your true potential and maybe this hardship and struggle was just to make you a better person now the rewards would be given to you for what you have done for what you have tolerated for what you have learned and it's a reward time and you are going to enjoy your life and enjoy the rewards and the new big changes will make your life more satisfying than ever before okay if you really like my reading kindly like share and subscribe my channel also hit the bell icon down below so you would be notified next time whenever i'm going to upload any of my upcoming videos till then have a great time take care bye, -bye. so for all those who have chosen satin it's the sixth planet from the sun and one day on Saturn is approximately 10.7 hours and it has seven glorious rings and it has 53 known moons. Whew, amazing. So let's see what's there in your reading. Okay, universe, let me be the guiding medium and let me tell my readers what is there for them. Okay, we have a start with five of wands, the high priestess, eight of rods, ten of pentacles, okay, the devil card, okay, seven of wands, six of cups. Nine of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, and Four of Swords. Okay, you really have a very bumpy ride recently. The, I see so much ups and downs going on in your way. At times you are fighting with each other and you cannot tolerate each other. But then at the same time, you are like so much into each other. You cannot stand and think about leaving each other. Uh, this could be a love reading, I suppose. But it could be like with anything if you are asking. You can ask if you are asking about your career opportunities or about particular situation then the thing is like it is going so up sometimes and then so low down sometimes it's not going in uh you know balanced and average mode you know sometimes you are fighting all the day but then at the time you're seeing like you this is the best thing ever can happen to you then at the time you are again struggling and just leaving about the situation and 
feeling so toxic about it but then at the same time you are so calm about it you are so peaceful and strong about it you are so holy and pious about it you are looking forward to things happening you're seeing the beauty things all about it so uh okay so maybe that's why the universe has you have chosen this card and universe wants to say this to you is to be patient to be calm don't make the things so up and so down sometimes the moderation to your life would solve the purpose just be calm just be balanced when you're fighting just don't over you know thought about the fight and then making them a uh, lengthy fights and then not resolve trying to resolve the things sometime looking the point of view of others could make so help you solve the problem it's just that that there are people with different kind of opinion sometimes and maybe their opinion is like very much important and to them and sometimes your opinion is very much important to them to you so you can balance between the opinion and the true binding force which you have is love force it's 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 a strong love energies which i could see it's it's like a pure innocent kind of love it's a love of giving it's it's the love of rewarding each other and just retain your innocence and love and purity maybe when there is a lot of love there is a lot of fights i have seen with people because when they are thinking things only with, on the basis of love and there is no moderation then definitely they get hurt easily and they fight with each other so easily so maybe this is the reason why you are fighting with each other so much you have to keep the things in a moderate level you don't have to be very immature about it you have to think straight through sometimes you have to adjust into a particular situation but that adjustment doesn't necessarily mean that you are like uh, feeling in a hell or just feeling very bounded about it sometimes the adjustments is so solemn and so pious and so virtuous it's a high priestess card and the high priestess is a very wise person if you're a man or a woman it really doesn't matter you have to be wise priestess you have to be you know knowing everything and knowing that okay anything could happen and you have to create the balance and you have to be very mature about it it's an 11 by 11 card so uh, it has this very quite positive energies and it's like a divinity card and the you it makes you feel that okay sometimes the things happen and then you have to just let go them and you have to accept what is happening in your life and i see the progressive card if you are expecting something good and you are saying that no it is not coming in your life then just wait and be patient because they are coming through you and with very beautiful fruitful results i see the happiness the fulfillment in your life so if you have been struggling in your business opportunities or with your finances so be patient the your know, your whole family could support you and if they could support you you can become much more mature you need the support of your family or if someone in your family wants your support to earn so just be supportive don't don't you know judge them or don't make them feel that they can't do those things maybe they can and they they can fulfill your life with happiness i can say that you are been feeling yeah, sometimes that you are in shackles and you are in you know in in a very toxic environment but then you are not because the even the other person you are involved with it could actually want to resolve the things with you it's not that they are always fighting with you they are not uh, also not very happy fighting with you for some i could see that you are been letting go of all the uh, beautiful things surrounded you and you are new choosing a new path if that is your case or someone with you who is moving ahead so i think it is better for you both so let them go if they really want to go because don't cling on to them it it won't really solve the purpose and it's it's a lot of love energies which i could see i am wondering why they are going but even if they are going maybe they need a break 
and they can come around because i can see the balance and love energies so if they're going right now just let them go see let them explore new things maybe after exploring they can come back it's not always someone going it is the always the happy ending or worse ending part it could be the beginning of your new life ventures again i see so much positivity and so much struggle again in your cards but at the same time i see you in resting in peace and making calmness with this and again i got this 11 by 11 energies so definitely this is a quite uh you know divine messages coming your way let me do a quick oracle reading and let's see and reconfirm what i have to say or if there is another message which i must tell to you then i must okay you get this help card the help you need is on its way so keep watching for it yes definitely i see the little struggle but then you just be patient the people are going and to help you and the divine the universe will be coming to help you change is happening so be prepared to move physically or spiritually and open the door to the kingdom of heaven you know sometimes when you are very sad then the a door to your spiritual guys spiritual gurus or the your gods in whomever you believe in could give you a lot of peace and calmness and they are asking you to rest a lot they are asking to give peace and peace of your mind and you know just just a, a, a simple slight rest you know let not thinking about anything is necessary for you i see that see beyond the current situation sometimes when the things are so toxic and you really don't know or messy and you really can figure out it's just that uh, sometimes you see that okay i'm living this situation now let me imagine see living this situation forever can i or can i not maybe just thinking about that could help you solve the problem make you better decisions or uh, work on yourself sometimes and it's very necessary for you and they are asking you to grow and reap sometimes your growth is very much important and not the others you have to uh, understand the things and not i'm not asking you to become like them i'm just asking you to you know be mature to to you know to learn things to see other points of views it, it's not necessary you can continue with what your belief system is i'm not asking you to change your belief system but then at the same time it's okay if you are going to uh, understand other points of views maybe you are not going to get more angry and upset when you are going to listen their point of view so it's just about understanding other point of views then you can do you are a person you can make your own decisions then you have to choose your path so there could be a tough a really tough choice for you ahead but your help would be given and the divination is there for you and a lot of love energies i could see i enjoyed the serendipity of life the unexpected can be wonderful you have to believe even the unexpected form of journey journeys could be a very adventurous and happening i have a balanced relationship with time i use time well and i invite peace within myself i repel this outwards yes if you have peace from within then definitely it has this ripple effect and you can give this peaceful energies to anyone even someone who is far away from you and you have this uh desire to give this peaceful energy to them first be peaceful from yourself from within and then you can direct it travel the road seldom taken you can take the risk and the risk taken would be appreciated by the universe go slowly and listen closely for the words of the tree spirits and last message sometimes the greatest magic lies in the smallest of forms wow so beautiful the last message is like awesome message so it says that sometimes 
oh yeah in the end i got this as, as the wide opening card so you have really happy ending in the end so no matter what you are doing you are going to end up in a very good form okay so here it says that sometimes the real happiness doesn't come with you know i get a lot of things and only i'll be happy even the small act of kindness small act of love could make you you know filled with love and happening so it says that the greatest magic lies in the smallest of forms wow so beautiful uh okay that's it for you so if you really like my reading kindly like share and subscribe my channel also hit the bell icon down below so that you would be notified next time whenever i'm going to upload any of my upcoming videos till then have a great time take care bye bye